spring 2022. So I've been to two Rio Two competitions previous to this, and they all both went very well. Westview winner A, which went very well, and um, Long B. So Westview winner B, and Anaheim winner A. They, both the competitions went very well. They able to meet some famous people. <coughs> Max Park, and I want to do another competition, and so I found this one. Previously, they got some pretty good solves. I mean, I got twenty ninety twenty sixty four on this. Which was my PR. My PB is 16 seconds. Super lucky saw that one. And I just want to see how we do this competition. There are a few events I'd kind of only learned maybe kind of previous to that, but I still want to try them anyways. There's also 3x3 blindfolded, and because of the whole logo thing, um, I didn't want to try it. I've not really learned it, so I'm like, ah, nope. So I completed a few events. Met. How do I phrase this? It was a competition of celebrities, but it was World Championships or A Nationals. So let's do it. So here's my first solve. This is a seven by seven, and I DNF'd it. <laughs> I never did seven by seven previous to this, so it's fun to do. This next event was Pyraminx. It was the first round, first time I ever done in competition. It went very well. I have some pretty good times for myself. I'm using the super beginner method. And for some Moe Pyramids, they went very well. Very happy with this result. I think I got a 60 second solve. Which was really slow. But I was happy with the result. This one was super um, slow, so I just did a speed up and the speed up voice obstacle too. And it's a nope, not so slow. The a sped up version doesn't even a world record. I gotta cut it out. So weirdly enough, in that solve, the time switched back after I finished. The judge didn't notice it was like a thousand of a second, a hundred of a second. And it wasn't really that big of a difference. So yeah, this solve also went very good. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. So I'm going to another competition, and I'll be doing a Mains and Goals video. As well as some very cool videos coming up soon. <clears throat>
I'll be doing some later for my theories. So I'll let you guys know at the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. This is a pretty good OLL. Um, I'm surprised I remembered it, and this is an end perm. I need to face my end perm algorithm, since they're not the best. Does I head shake? Simcher Cube head shake. Okay. Please have your ID card. That's for the school, by the way. Don't do that. Okay, close science to sub 20. I'm getting really close. I want to get one. I don't want to get a sub 20 single. I'm an ass competition that I go to. Which, like I said, I'll be doing amazing gold videos for. I was pretty happy with this result. And this last one, I'm like, okay. Just need to, just need to solve the cube. Like, I don't know how. And by the way, he just walked back there in a white sweatshirt. Later that day, he would become the Korean national record holder for a 2x2 two two single. Kim and Choi is his name. <clears throat> right there, too. So, that's pretty cool. I judged him a few times, even at the last ones. They happen to be out. Are you guys having a wonderful day? No, they are not watching me queue, by the way. They're making sure that's the thing. See, they're, because those are very, very windy day. And we had, like, grab onto the things. So that way, it literally went below. Like, just two by two, which I'm very happy with, actually. I got, like, six seconds solved. I was using Ortega. I wasn't using CLL or EG or any of those. This was after lunch, so I took off my sweatshirt because it was getting actually pretty warm. Eight seconds. Pretty happy, pretty happy with that. Anyways, right, make sure to like and subscribe because I really want to do more of these vlogs. And the only way I can do those is if you guys like and subscribe. So you guys, in case you guys didn't know, Ortega is where you solve the entire set 2x2. Two two. Then you orientate the last layer, oh well. Then you do PBL, where you solve the rest of the cube. I don't think I got any skips, really, in this average. I've gotten skips before in other cells, but... Let's see, I think this is the last of them. So I'll right there, I'm like, okay, I just want to do it in 2x2. Two two. And I did for me. Of course, there's an insane number of records made that day on 2x2. Two two. I think one person got a Mexican average, Mexican single or something. 6.9, six, six I think that was my PR from that day. Let's see, yeah, I saw, dropped the cube. And by the way, in case you're wondering why the cube's unsolved, because I just do it super fast, some super fast turns, and I kind of unsolved it. I didn't exactly take the time to solve it. Pretty nice YouTube flick at the end there, might I admit. This is just some um, stop motion. And this, yes, you are suddenly seeing that right. This is Felix Zendix. I judged Felix Zendix for his last average. His full five solves. I got just the Felix Zendix. I also got a signature earlier on my little name placard. That's pretty cool. And I actually got to talk to him. He was like, he was really nice. And yeah, it was, it was a really good, really amazing experience. So my, I say this is a really successful competition. I didn't run it, but it seemed it was really well organized. There were, Nah, they have a fine schedule, but it was fine. Max Park got a colonial record average. Um, got me Felix Zendix. I judged him for his first pyramid solve, which I did not have photos of. But I got judged for his last average, which was very nice. And it was hilarious, because after Max got the um, single, like I said earlier, he's like, yes, I beat Team It was 4 or 9. And they beat Team Lin's um, of the solve by 200 of the second. And so then Felix said, Felix turned to the guy next to him. I think they were buddies or something. Felix goes, I love how that's his priority. He doesn't say sarcastically, he's just like, I love how that's his priority to the guy next to him. That was nice, that was nice part. And when they went up to the awards, Max got first, Phil got second, someone else got third. Sorry, if you're watching this, I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> and Max goes, full step versus PLL skip. Because he full stepped, which means he did all four steps, and I think Phil's got a skip. But yeah, Max still beat him. Um, so yeah, this was a really good competition, you guys. So now my next thing I'm gonna do, my next competition. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, unboxing. Hundred dollar, hundred ten, hundred thirteen dollar speaker shot unboxing coming to you sometime this week. See ya.